Right, we're showing a wee play and I'm here today, not too close, Andy. Um, being helped by my wee tuba playing brother, Andy. Now, this play and I made, um, so it's a convex blade, which allows me to do carved tops when I'm building guitars. Um, and I just dropped it. I didn't have the money to buy one, so I just I made it. I got a blade here. It's about seven pounds. It's a 35 millimeter blade. I cut that into just hold it still into a convex tip, which is very sharp. Um, because I've cut myself on it. Now, when we're making these, the important thing is the gap between the blade and the opposing part. That makes sure the shavings come up into this area instead of going along the bottom, lifting the plane off the thing off the workpiece and it just becomes very messy and this will score. The woods we've got rosewood, ash, that's ash, um it's actually just rosewood and ash. That's a piece of oak. Um okay, simple construction. Forty five degree cuts. That's a forty five degrees. Blades beveled at thirty degrees. Um there's this bolt going across. Uh, which helps me, this is a wedge which pins the blade in, so I'll take it apart. It is it's just all compression fit, so that's my wedge. You can see that when I press it in, it's obviously going to compress the blade. I've shaped it thus so I can pull it out, get my fingers around it, it's not necessary. I started life as a 35mm Stanley square tip blade, and I made it convex tip with an angle grinder and then finished it off on the whetstone. Okay, so inside we've got 45, 45 and this here, I shimmed this out so that I could make the tolerance between the blade and this much closer. And that just helps the shavings collect. That was just trial and error. I'm making a block plane, it's halfway. I'll finish it tomorrow. And it's this simple to put back together. Wedge, back in on top, set the depth just to feel really. Um, this all centers nicely. And then I just pull it nice and tight to hand. There we foot the blade. That's quite deep. That will work well on pine, but not so well on the hardwood. I'm working mainly with hardwoods, so I'm not going to want it that wide. That's good. Um, very simple construction. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, this works uh, actually better not pushing but pulling. So I find this works much better on my parents' table pulling rather than pushing. The hand is going to eat you. Dad's going to eat me for scoring this. Doesn't matter. I'm going to finish this off with a um, with tongue oil and a beeswax. Um, and that's that. Great.